Hello guys, let's read a fanfic called Feel the Steel. Let's start, shall we? Twilight, sitting alone at her desk, reading a book of equestrian history. A candle, it's the only thing that illuminates her surroundings. Suddenly she hear a mighty knock coming from underneath. Hmm, how cold this be at this time, she asked herself. Oh, it's one of these fanfics, great. Slowly, the purple alicorn got up from her chair and walked downstairs. As she was arriving at the door, another knock made it clear that somebody was on the other side. <laughs> Carefully, she opened the door slowly as she, her gaze fell on a purple creature. It looked somehow like a pipetal hedgehog with metal pieces attached to it. Um, hi, what do you want, mister? She stammered, not too sure what to make of this awkward situation. Without saying a single word, the hedgehog walked past Twilight right into the kitchen. Hey, that's my house, she yelled at him, but he showed no intention to her at all. Who are you and what do you want? She said angry. The purple hedgehog, who now was drinking some milk he just found in Twilight's fridge, turned his head towards the pony and answered, My name is Cold Steel. I was born with special powers and I was stronger than all my classmates in the Sonic Academy. I served in the Sonic military and I killed Sonic because I'm stronger than him and because I have special powers which helped me defeat him. Twilight was staring at him dumbfounded, being as confused to reply. So, um, what do you want exactly? I don't think you've answered my whole question. Without any motion in his face, he said it. I want to fuck Pony. <laughs> okay. I want to fuck ponies because I've heard. That's what cool kids do these days. And I want to become even cooler. And I want to show Chaos Kids 663 that I'm the best and prove him that he's a fucking Pokemon scamming faggot. The purple alicorn jaw dropped as he finished his sentence. Now she was starting to realize the situation she's in, and a wave of panic washed over her. Cold Steel started to, to walking slowly in her direction. His eyes were lifeless as always. With a single motion, the alicorn casts a magic spell and shoots it right into Cold Steel's chest. He didn't even flinch and continued walking. No! How did my spell not work? Twy screamed. I'm too cool and evil and really, really too bad to be hurt by an alicorn in a kid's t show for little girls. Cold Steel replied in what he thought was a cool voice. Dude, you need to work on your grammar, seriously. Twy said while smirking before she teleports herself to the old castle in the air free forest why there as she appeared there she tried straight to the ancient library hmm there should be a book somewhere in here about this creature it's really strange and i don't think it's hey girl you miss me a voice suddenly interrupted her trail of thought 
Quickly she turned around just to see Cold Steel's eyes. A few inches away from her own, she tried to cast another spell as fast as possible, but Cold Steel put his right hand on her horn and stopped her from doing so. He then lift her upwards, turned her side up, I mean, upside down, and delivered the purple alicorn a tombstone pile driver. Kaboom! Get wrecked! He said. He then said, like a wonder, Twilight still was consciousness. <clears throat> Thanks. To her alicorn body but she was too weak to stand up how did you do this why were you here so fast <clears throat> she spoke in between gasp the hedgehog looked down to her and said my name is cold steel I was born with special powers and I was stronger than all my uh you already said that. Get to the point. The alicorn groaned it. Shut up, pony slut. Cold Steel screamed at her. Then he grabbed her waist and slung her t around. So she laid on her back. Twice shuddered in fear as cold sweat was dripping down her forehead. Uh, suddenly, Cold Steel moves his head right next to hers. He moved his mouth near to her ear and he whispered in a monotone voice, Psst, nothing person. <laughs> Psst, nothing personal, kid. Silent! <laughs> <clears throat> Suddenly, Twilight felt something hard, like still, <laughs> like still ripping through her body. A scream emerged from her mouth as Cold Steel starts to pound into her purple plot. Wow, that's how a pony pussy feels. Wait. That's how a pussy feels at first. Wait, what? The hedgehog spoke as his cock was fully engulfed by Twilight's vagina. He didn't yell at her. Look at my earrings! Do you think they're girly? What? Twilight didn't look at them. And so Cove Steel backhand slapped her face. Look at them! He yelled, yes, Twilight said as a, with a quivering as she looked behind her. Wait, what? Do you think they are girly? The a hedgehog asked again. No, they're really cool, she replied scared. Good pony. Also, I think this old castle is very cool. It's dark and badass and stuff. I hate things like niceness and happiness. He continued thrusting into Twilight's nether reason, region. She felt his steel hard member stretching her inner walls. It hurt so much, but at the same time, it felt so good. <laughs> at least he's not some sort of ugly neckbeard, he thought. Oh! <laughs> Nice. <clears throat> Suddenly, Cold Steel began to slap her ass with his left hand and Twilight gave, uh, gives off a small whimper. This is for... <laughs> is it bad for me to know these memes? <laughs> is it bad for me to know about these memes? I feel like a bad person knowing these memes. This is for you, Lewis. Fuck you. <laughs> he screamed as he slapped her ass one more time. More furious than before. And this is for you, Kevin. 
Stop showing everyone my DeviantArt page! As gay faggot, as he continued to spank the alicorn. And this is for you, Dad! I hate you so much! You are so- you are gay and shouldn't be alive! And hated it every time you wanted to go to some football matches with me! Fuck you, Dad! All this spanking and shit talking really ruined Twilight's on and she felt a similar sensation coming up. Cold Steel starts to pick up his speed and starts thrusting faster and faster. At this moment, Twilight couldn't handle it any anymore. She didn't want to come, but <clears throat> Cold Steel was too awesome to resist, so she came all over his steel hard cock. This amused Cold Steel as well as he screamed, Fuck you, Chaos 663 Omega ass faggot! As he blows his hot semen into Twilight's pussy. He then stood up and looked down at the exhausted Twilight who was still laying on the ground. Get wrecked, son! He said as he climbed on his bed. Where did what? On his badass motorcycle, which had a very scary skull headlights. I'm gonna buy some awesome Jingo pan. Jingo jeans? Am I, am I saying that right? Jingo J jeans. And with those last words, he ascended into the sky. Tali finally got up. Her whole body still hurt. From this torture. Aww. Everything hurts. But at least it's finally over. She said. As she started to make her way out of the castle. It's never ogre. <laughs> Another voice appeared behind her suddenly. As a big green hand stopped her in her tracks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Nothing personal kid. It's never ogre. That was cold still, guys. <laughs> it only gets worse from here. Uh, nothing personal, kid. Thanks for watching. <laughs>